I am five. I know it's a little bit late today, but I had a lot of things to do. <laughs> so good evening, good evening, good evening. Hi there, 44 Liam, Enfra, TK Lauren. Oh, I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, some participants today because I'm thinking it may be too late, but I'm glad you're able to make it. Exorb, hi there. What is for? Don't you get triggered when people talk like Chicago is a hellhole? <laughs> I haven't heard anything about um, Chicago lately, but I heard about the um, the daycare, the afterbirth uh, care center where uh, three babies were stabbed. And I think the woman who did it killed herself. So I think that's the latest news that I was able to hear today, actually this morning. So anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's really sad. I was, I, I felt so bad about it when I heard it because you know, those are newborn babies. Uh, one baby was only one month old and the other baby was three days old. And they were all, uh, they, they were stabbed and fighting for their life right now. I hope they're gonna make it. Oh my goodness, even if they make it, it's gonna be so hard. Okay, from XOR, Monday is our last exam. Because it is English, AP Science, yeah, okay, that's good, good to know. So you will be relaxed after Monday, exorb. <laughs> so anyway, um, before I start this segment, I would like to make some announcements. I would probably be doing a lot more this weekend because I am hoping to, to reach my goal of uh, getting 4,000 watch hours by the end of this month. So I will be streaming a little bit longer. I will do streaming on Saturday for my regular Saturday, Saturday Night Live. And the Sunday special with Johnny D, I will also tell him to uh, stay with me a little bit longer so that we could get more watch hours. How many do you have? 44 Liam. Right now I have, I think, 3,000. The last one I, I saw was 3,362. And then I think just a while ago I checked it was 3,413. So I still need <laughs> um, a little bit more until I get to the 4,000 watch hours. So. I would really appreciate it if you can if you can help me uh, reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by the end of this month. I need uh, a little over 500 watch hours. So if you could just um, uh, play the my playlist, choose at, choose any of my playlists and just keep watching it. You know, you don't have to be right in front of the computer all the time. Just keep on playing it and uh, choose any playlists. Uh, if, if you like hearing Johnny D, just choose the Johnny D old recordings, or maybe On the Road with Mrs. D, or even my songs, and uh, or game streams. I would really appreciate it if you can help me reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by September 30. Does Johnny like being on the streams? Well, he can't say no to me. <laughs> so when I tell him that I'm going to live stream and I want him to be there, then yeah, he, 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 he's going to be there. So he doesn't like it. He, he doesn't really like it a lot, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't like it. Um, he could still do it. It's just that it gets him tired. It gets him tired and, uh, you know, because he likes to sing. So I think that's his preference. Uh, Mrs. D, did you join the Discord? Exorb, like I mentioned before, I'm not, 
I think I'm not gonna get into the Discord thing because first of all, my 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 um, speaker is built in. It's an old computer. It's breaking up. It's choppy. I tried Discord once and I really didn't like it. So I'm just gonna stick to this uh, type of uh, chat that we have. And hopefully, if I have a new computer that I can do Discord with, then maybe I will someday. <laughs> uh, pro tip, game stream playlist is longest. <laughs> yeah, those are really long. I even asked uh, Michael to do a um, game stream tonight before my uh, live stream, because that will also add hours to the, you know, to my uh, 4,000 watch hours that I need. Use your son's really nice gaming computer. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, um, there is no, I think the, the webcam is not working. And also I've heard a lot of complaints about how bad the microphone is. I think we need a new microphone with a good webcam. So maybe next time. But anyway, as I have mentioned, uh, I will do live streams, lots of live streaming uh, in the following days so that I could achieve my goal of 4,000 watch hours by September 30. And um, another thing, I will start another segment, which I will call shout outs for my students, because there's a lot of a lot of requests already coming in for from my students for me to give them a shout out. I have so many, actually, so many names already and they're piling up. So I'm going to do, I, I promised them that I will do shout outs for, for all of them. And I will do that through my uh, video editor, the Camtasia. I will write their names. I will mention their names and hopefully they will be happy to see it. So it's a new segment called uh, Shout Outs to My Students. <laughs> so um, another thing, oh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> but anyway, today was a very special day for me. It was like, like a dream. It was almost like, you know, for me, I feel like this couldn't be happening. It, it, it was so good awesome you know and i was so relaxed there are a few students i mean compared to the the previous classes that i had where there are over 30 35 students 40 and even those regular classes with uh, 24 25 Today, I only have uh, 19 students for my second period. My first period was planning. So 19 out of 19, and then the next one, 19 out of 19, and then 17, and then uh, 20, 21, 19. So it was really good. <laughs> I had a chance to relax and just, you know, I, I, I was going around, uh, checking their work because there's, there's not a lot of them, so I was able to do that really good. So anyway, um, this segment is about my substitute teaching stories and the warm-ups that I gave to my students because I wanted to share them with you and hopefully some parents or guardians or even the students themselves will be able to hear it and, and uh, you know, kind of think about it and see what's going on in the minds of our students today. Uh, Drew Boy, hi there. Welcome. So um, anyway, um, the school today was a little bit farther from home. Yesterday, I was um, only two minutes away from the high school, but today it's about a 16 minute travel, but um, maybe about 11 miles away from the house. But, but, but you know, I, I prefer to travel a little bit longer as long as the students are so much nicer. I really don't mind traveling as long as uh, I will have a very good day because, you know, even if 
I travel uh, a short distance and then the whole day I'm going to be so stressed. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> so anyway, I will be going back to this class on September 24th, I think, or it's a Friday and then also another um, I'll be there again twice in October, so I'm really looking forward to that. Have you ever solved for your son's class? Um, 44 Liam, yeah, I was able to do that last year. Um, it was in little Johnny D's class. He was in fourth grade. And when I saw that the teacher was um, doing a personal uh, leave or like a sick call, and then I grabbed it right away because I wanted to see uh, the situation in my in my son's classroom. And because I subbed in his class, I was able to know that he actually didn't even have a book. He doesn't have his own textbook, you know, others have it, but he didn't have one. So I was telling him, how, how can you learn without a textbook? Did your teacher know that until now you don't have a textbook? So uh, that's one of the main thing that I found out from my son, uh, having subbed on his classroom, which I think was good because if I didn't sub for his class, then I wouldn't know that he's, he doesn't even have a textbook. That's really sad. Uh, oh, from Hawking Red. Hawking Red is here. Good evening, Mrs. B. Glad you had a good day of substitute teaching today. Take care. Thank you, Hawking Red. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to have a, a nice, nice day today. Um, not a lot of students in, in each classroom, so well behaved, and um, they were good at following instructions. They were very quiet. They were focused on their work, and uh, I was giving a lot of those little reward things that I had. And I think next time when I go there, I will print out more of those uh, little rewards that I give to the students. They're actually very excited about it. Um, there was one student who was trying, you know, it was almost, uh, the bell was almost going to ring. It was like one or two minutes. But she was really trying very hard to finish all the three articles because she wanted that little reward that I have for, for the students so she could she could uh, show her mom or dad, maybe, but I, and, and then there was also another boy who said, uh, before he left the classroom, said, Mrs. B, I've, I've been very good. I, I was really quiet and I did my work. And I knew he wanted that thing. So I'm like, okay, uh, what's your name again? And then I looked at my notes and I said, okay, yeah, you were good and, and quiet. So here it is. So, uh, they really appreciate that thing, so I'm going to print more of it, and I'm going to change it a little bit so that, uh, you know, when the parents see it, they would really know that it's their uh, son or daughter who deserved that little reward thing because, you know, they could just say, oh, maybe you just pick, the, pick this up from somewhere or somebody gave it to you, but if I would print the name, because some students would... Uh, come to me and request, uh, Miss D, could you please write my name on it? Or Mrs. D, could you please sign it? So I'm going to revise it a little bit so that their names are going to be there. I will write it myself or if I have to sign it so that um, it will be more, um, you know, uh, believable. <laughs> because sometimes, you know, parents, they, they don't really... Um, I would say not trust <laughs> some uh, their their children, but uh, it would be nice if it really if there's a proof that it really is meant for for them. So I'm gonna revise that and I will print more more of it. I think they like it better than me giving. I used to give away uh, small Mentos candies. So instead of Mentos candies, I think they appreciate this much more. So anyway, <laughs> hello Undertaker. No, you're not late. You're, you're good. You're fine. Because today I'm going to extend this a little bit. Uh, or maybe I'll just do another one later on because I'm not sleepy yet. And um, it's Friday. So thank God it's Friday. And I intend to
to do more live stream this weekend so that I could reach my goal. So again, if I could ask your help for me to reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by September 30th, I would really appreciate if you could uh, play my playlists, you know, choose from my playlist and just watch it. You know, you don't have to be focused on it and keep watching it and and be uh, on the computer all the time. You just need to play it and um, listen to Johnny B's songs maybe, <laughs> or listen to some of my songs and let it play and uh, just keep on watching it so that I could reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by September 30th. I would really, really love to get help from you and I really appreciate it. Um, I would like you to be part of it when I reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours. So thank you. Noriaga, hello. I've been watching your daily inspiration videos almost every day. They're very helpful, so thank you. Well, thank you too, Noriaga. I'm glad that it's, um, it's helping you in one way or another. I am really inspired to do those uh, messages, and um, I've also branched it out. I, I, I'm doing the um, Life is What You Make It. Um, this, I, I've been trying to create those uh, little notes and inspirations and quotes, but I'm actually uh, thinking of maybe getting help from, from a priest friend of mine. You see, I have a Catholic priest friend. He's been a friend since, I don't know, 1990. Or I think when I first met him and he's been a very good friend, he is a Catholic priest and uh, he's in charge of two churches in, um, in Texas, in Rawls, Texas, that's near Lubbock, Texas. So hopefully I can convince him to help me do those life is what you make it because coming from a pastor coming from a Catholic priest would be so much different and would be much, much better than what I can make. So I'm going to do that. Oh, Peter Ian, thank you for being here. Hello there. Welcome. So anyway, I'm going to proceed with the warm-up questions that I ask my students. This is not from today. This is also from a few weeks back. You know, I've been keeping them and... Um, I'm not sure if I asked this before, but I still have uh, a few left. So anyway, um, from Hawking Red, Mrs. D, I will have your videos running all night tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Hawking Red. I would really appreciate that. And if uh, some of you could also do the same thing, just keep on running and watch my videos so I can get more watch hours. <laughs> That would be very, very helpful. Thank you so much, Hawking Red. Okay, so anyway, the warm-up question that I gave the students is, um, where is it? I can't find it. <laughs> what makes you special? I think that's the question, what makes you special and why? So anyway, here are the uh, answers from the students. Um, I do have something that makes me special, and it is my penguin, penguin walk. I can make people laugh when I do the penguin walk, and it's not easy to make people laugh, but I can easily do it. <laughs> I can listen to anybody no matter how boring it is. No matter how boring it is they are talking about. Some people can't do that and that's why and that's what I think makes me special. From Exorb, I can't stay too long because I have to memorize. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by Exorb and see you in uh, some of my future students. Thank you. Um, the next one, I can, I can train animals, particularly dogs and cats, and that sets me apart from everyone else. 
Okay. I don't think that I'm very special, but if I had to say something, it would be the thing I am most proud of is my above average reading ability. I am way above my peers and can read and comprehend on a college level. That's nice. Yep, it's an interesting answer, Noriaga. Next one, what makes me a special person is who I am because I am a normal person that does what everyone does like helping out parents. I might be special in some way, like having a cute sister or my parents being good cooks. But overall, I consider myself not special. The next one, I can sing well and I have joined singing competitions before and have won in some, so I guess that makes me special. Okay. What makes me special is me because there is no other person like me. There you go. Next one, I learned how to do sign language because I have a sister who is deaf. So my sign language ability is what makes me a special person. I am my own person. Nobody is the same as me. That makes me special. There you go. Next one. I have my own YouTube channel and have my family and friends subscribe to it. It may not be a lot, but they follow me. So that makes me a special person. Next one. The thing that makes me so special is how mature I am and how caring I can be. Not all people are caring. Maybe I'll be a nurse someday and that will make me even more special. That is so much. Another one, I learn really fast. You only have to show me how to do things once and from there I can take over. My dad said I will do good in business someday. Hopefully, that will be good. I don't think I have a talent at all. I only think that I think is a talent is that I can move, move my fingers in weird ways and I can move my body in extraordinary ways. Hmm. Interesting. I remember one contestant in America's Got Talent. He was moving like a spider or an elastic man. <laughs> okay, I can go with the... I can go without sleep for two or three days, then get sleep for one day. I don't know if that is special or not. <laughs> Next one. What makes me a special person is my Fortnite skills. I think I can beat Ninja. Okay. So that's your special... <laughs> Special skill or special talent. Next one, I love to cook and I cook good food is what my family says. So there, that must be the thing that makes me special. From Drew Boy, could you ask Johnny B to sing Wilco? I will ask him and he usually watches my live stream so he would probably see your comment. So thank you, Drew Boy. The next one, my personality, because I am who I am. I have many friends, and I could probably be a politician someday. You're welcome, Drew Boy. 
Okay, a politician in the making. <laughs> Next one, I can dance different types of dance. B. I can dance different types of dances because at an early age, I already started to dance. My favorite is salsa. It's a special dance I can do very well. Another one, I don't really know what makes me special, but my teachers said I am good in math. I can probably be an engineer and I can be special if I invent something use, useful for everyone. And then another one, I'm special because I'm really good at soccer and basketball. I have lots of friends who admire the way I play, so I guess I'm special. <laughs> Oliver, I'm going to leave at 11, have a Twitch stream to watch. Okay, that's good. Um, I was actually what um, trying to learn the YouTube gaming because I saw an article about YouTube gaming that they are offering something other than the, what they're offering lately. So I went to YouTube gaming, but I didn't know what to do from there. So hopefully I will learn to use that YouTube gaming in my live stream. Okay, another one, because I know that I make people happy, and that makes me happy, and that's a special gift that not everybody has. Another thing, uh, I, I, I can repair things that are broken or are no longer in use and make them useful again. I am a special handyman. I am a special person because there is only one of me in the world, and I'm smart, smarter than most of my age. That's good. I honestly wouldn't consider myself special. I mean, everyone has their flaws and their perfect parts, but that's what makes them them. Okay. I suppose one talent I can share is that I'm great at certain games. I will compete in the Olympics one day and people will love me for it. That's a good one. And finally, I think I am a special person because I know that I am better than anyone in this world. Also, nobody can be me or try to be like me. People cannot live up to my greatness and ways of thinking. Okay, so that's the last one. I wasn't able to do uh, uh, this warm-ups for today's, today's class because they have a lot of things to do today. They were reading three articles from Achieve 3000. And I think that's too much. I couldn't give them something more to do. So there you go. Uh, it was a very, very uh, relaxing day for me. And I just, I just hope that all my sobbing will be something like that. And I really appreciate the teacher, the regular teacher who uh, requested me. He's, she's actually. Um, been requesting me for since last year and I think the year before so she really likes me to be in her classroom and I really appreciate that. Relaxing days are the best from Kabir. Thank you Kabir Oragzai and welcome to this stream. Little boy 69 or little boy 69 hi there welcome. So anyway um like I have uh, mentioned earlier, if I could ask your help uh, for me to be able to reach my goal of 4,000 watch hours by September 30th, I would really appreciate it if you could watch my videos, keep watching, watch as much as you could <laughs> so that I could reach my 4,000 watch hours by September 30th. 
I would really love for you to be a part of it, a part of my success, a part of my of reaching my goals, and I would really, really be very grateful. Okay, can you dab? Of course, why not? <laughs> so that's for you, little boy. Little boy. TMNT39, hello there. Nice to see you here. How has uh, how's everything been going on with you, TMNT? Um, hey, do you like Jack's films? What are Jack's films? Are those scary movies? If those are the scary movies, then I can't watch them. I cannot watch... Uh, <laughs> Scary movies because it's going to give me a, a nightmare. From Little Boy, Little Boy 69. Perfect. Thank you. From Kabir or Ragsai, I'm positive you will reach that goal, Mrs. D. Thank you. I'm sure that if all of you will help me and all of you will be watching my, my videos and playlists, then I will be reaching that goal. Hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> um. I've been pretty good, working a lot, but keeping up pretty well. Thanks for asking. How have you, how have you been, Mrs. B? Uh, TMNT, I was just sharing a while ago that I had the nicest, uh, nicest class today. It was really awesome. I can't believe that, you know, I was in, in such a very relaxing, calming um, classroom. Uh, most of the students were focused on their work. They were just quiet and very attentive and very respectful. So I really enjoyed that. I could go to that class uh, every day. <laughs> okay, so anyway, if, if you have any questions for me or if you want to share something, um, then if not, then I will have to say, if there's nothing else, I would have to say night night to everybody and I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to stream tomorrow. I might be um, singing, you know, in my karaoke without any practice, you know, it's not going to be a video where I will have to make it perfect. So I'm actually uh, starting a uh, another video for my segment, My Travels and Adventures. I, I Earlier I was doing this, um, I was compiling all those videos that I took when I was at the Niagara Falls and when I was in, in some other places and also in Orlando. So I'm putting them together so that I could come up with another video that uh, we could all watch so I will reach my goal. So anyway, that's great. Must have been a nice relief compared to the experiences you've shared with us with us in the past. Yeah, exactly, TMNT. Uh, it was such um, such a big difference. It was like heaven and hell. <laughs> yeah, really, it was like heaven and hell. It's like uh, for the past two weeks I was in hell. And then all of a sudden, I was in, in, in heaven. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So anyway, um, okay. Do I have moderators today? Because I just saw uh, a message held for you. Oh, uh, Hardcore Blood and Enfar here. And TK Lauren. Yep. So I have to see. <laughs> and I'm glad that Antonio here is not here tonight. He was being a troll yesterday, so I don't know what's up with him. He was even saying the F word, so I'm glad that I have um, my moderators. Um, okay, so I think there's no other questions for me, and if nobody will be sharing anymore what they want to share for tonight, then I will have to say good night to all of you and thank you for keeping me company. Thank you for being there for me all the time. I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Night night. Go fist and for everyone. <laughs> love you. Later, later. <laughs>